Hello, everyone. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. I wanted to uh, do something a little different and question the sun because we've been questioning the earth. I've looked a little bit into the moon, but the sun is something that I think a lot of people started kind of waking up when they saw it for the first time. Many people across the, the United States when we had the eclipse this August were going out and actually staring at the sun, something we don't do very often. And many people have now have access to solar filters they can put on cameras and zoom in and really study the sun. So you're seeing that a lot of people are questioning the sun. And when I was growing up, it looked a lot like the one you see in this picture. Never did it ever look like this. Okay, let me hide this real quick. <clears throat> Never did it ever look like this little yellow marble that we see right here with the dark little sunspots. Okay, these were usually giant explosions coming out of it. And um, it didn't look anything like this whatsoever. Okay. So either the sun got a haircut <laughs> or NASA has some explaining to do. And I'm going to look at the why uh, they have the sun pictures that look like this. And they're beautiful. I mean, you can see all these flames and giant explosions. And, of course, because it's millions of miles away and just so gigantic. Um, but it looks really, really kind of artistic when you see it from NASA. And here's what NASA's version of the eclipse looks like. When they send it to you, it looks like this. And the big flares don't really move. Moon passes in front of the sun. Nothing to see. Here's another one. Still, I mean, to me, it looks like a cartoon. Okay, this is not me being a conspiracy theorist. And I almost see a little small nose and a mustache, like the little Pringles guy mustache or the Monopoly guy mustache here. Y'all see that? Or just me. Um, got one eye. All-seeing eye. Actually, it does look like an eye. Oh my gosh. Just notice that. It has an eye. You see it? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> it's looking at me. Kind of creepy. Um, but here's what the sun looks like when you are watching it yourself. This is an eclipse captured by a regular person. Okay. They took out their camera. They put together an animation of really high-quality pictures. And this is what the eclipse really looks like. Everyone that saw it knows this is exactly what it looked like. Um, if they were in the path of totality, and it was really something special if you got to watch it, it was really cool. I got to see it, not in totality, but very close. Now, here is NASA's pictures of the sun. This is from their website. And yes, they look like cartoons, but they are telling us these are real pictures of the sun taken from outer space, from a satellite. And I think they, they're all different. They all say they all capture different rays of light or intensities of the radiation or whatever. And you can see here, this one has the Donald Trump hair at the top left. And um, they're, they're beautiful. And their, their art program is phenomenal, by the way. I, I really do think they are very good at what they do most of the time, and they should be. They get paid way more than I do, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you read about why these images look like this, and they tell you. It says, these images of the sun were captured at the same time on January 29th, 2017, by the six channels on the Solar Ultraviolet Imaging, or SUVI instrument aboard the NOAA's GOES 16, they probably call it the GOES um, satellite. They show a large coronal hole in the sun's southern hemisphere. So the sun actually has a southern hemisphere like we do. Data from the SUVI or SUVI will provide an estimation of coronal plasma temperatures and emission measurements, which are important to space weather forecasting. So they can predict the weather in space with a 20% chance of a cartoon explosion on Monday, followed by some more cartoon explosions on Wednesday. So um, they're predicting space weather. It's important. We don't want power outages to happen because one of those explosions on the sun that's millions of miles away um, travels through the vacuum of space and destroys stuff here on Earth. Very bad. Okay. Now, 
I want to share something with you that I think is really cool. But before I share it, I want to show you where I found it. It was on this channel here, Flat Max UK. This guy has some really cool stuff. I highly, highly recommend you go subscribe to his channel and um, watch his videos. He's he's really good at studying the sun. I looked everywhere for videos that that had to do with following sunspots because I was interested in the fact that we can see these sunspots clear as day. And if we are actually going around the sun, the sunspots would follow a particular, very predictable pattern. And I couldn't find a video for a while. It took me several days and I finally found this. Seems like the uh, search engines um, for Google really, really alter the things you find. You have to really dig deep to find things nowadays. And I don't recommend using Google. Try to find another um, way of looking this stuff up because all they they show you is what they want you to see. And um, here's here's these sunspots and how they move over just 24 days. Okay. And I think this destroys the heliocentric model altogether. Look at that. They are moving in this direction. Okay, I think you get the picture. That is really cool. I had never seen anything like that <clears throat> in my life. And we should have easy access to tons of things like this when we go and try to find it, but we can't. And it takes somebody that is very curious, very talented with camera, to capture something like that. And I was really impressed because if we are going around the sun, the sunspots should be seen and change based on our position around this giant sun that is millions of miles away. And it should be very predictable as well as the stars that we see. We should be able to see the stars on the other side of the sun. And I've been watching the stars for 12 months and their paths have changed equivalent to the path of the sun. When the sun moves in the winter time, the stars seem to move with it. Okay, as it gets further south from where I'm at, the stars follow that same path, but I'm still seeing the same constellations. That just drives me crazy um, when I'm trying to prove the heliocentric model. I can't because what I'm seeing doesn't add up with what I should be seeing. Okay, so that's really cool. You guys should definitely look into that. Okay, here is another thing with the sun. If the earth is flat, they say, why does the sun look bigger when it goes down? Because it should be getting really far away and getting smaller. That is 100% correct. But that's also 100% correct on the heliocentric model. Because when it goes down, it's still getting further away from you, even on a spinning ball. So um, the answer to that question is atmospheric lensing. There is a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. And when you take that away, you will see what it looks like over here. Okay. When there's no atmosphere to magnify the sunlight, you'll see. Watch, watch the sun. Getting smaller, getting further away. There you go. So, definitely getting smaller, and this is in a dry area. You can do this in a dry area, but normally we see the sun go over the horizon when we're at the beach, when there's a lot of water and moisture in the atmosphere, and it magnifies the sun greatly. Okay? So, um, pretty interesting that there are simple answers to these questions. 
if you look into it. Here's a picture that I took when I was out studying the stars. Oops. And I, I was outside, took this picture, came inside, adjusted the brightness, and it looks like it is noon. It looks like it's noon. When I ask people what time did I take this picture, they always say about 12 o'clock noon. I took this at midnight. The white dots that you're seeing around here, these are stars. I took this at midnight on a full moon, and it was gorgeous outside that night. And as you can see, the sun and the moon appear to be the exact same to me. And the Book of Enoch says the sun is sevenfold brighter or seven times brighter than the moon. That is something we can prove with science, with Photoshop. You can increase the brightness by 700% and get what looks like sunlight. Okay, kind of cool. And I just wanted to get people's opinions on that. And I asked them, you could show them the same picture and go, what time of day was this taken? This was taken at midnight. These white dots are stars, okay? I, I use the night mode settings on the camera to take that picture, and um, it's really cool how you can get that effect. And also, very interesting fact, I didn't know this. <laughs> this is actually comedy. I'm not being serious. Um, that the moon did not start glowing until 1977 after the Apollo missions. <laughs> and they show you this glowing moon that we've all seen, and then they show you this dark, gray soil here and it says does the moon surface look like it's glowing bright enough to light up the earth i don't think so <laughs> i really don't it's uh it was a meme i came across and i thought it was hilarious because it really should look a lot brighter okay i've been to the sandiest beaches the white sand beaches and they're not even as bright as the moon is here they're bright i mean they'll hurt your eyes but they're not that bright um, so I thought that was interesting, pretty funny. So uh, let us let us know what you think. I think it's very interesting to kind of question things and look into the false narrative we've been given and find out the truth. And I encourage you guys to keep asking questions, keep doing some digging. Be careful when you're doing research. There is uh, the way when you look things up on Google, like I can do that right now. I'll see if I can show you um, right here. If I type in flat earth proofs, okay, is earth flat? You get all these really good videos making fun of the flat earth. Is earth actually flat? There's Vsauce, you know, one of the greatest shields of, of the flat earth movement, stopping it, trying to stop it. it has millions of, 19 million views. Look at that, okay. Um, and they always have nonsense things that we really don't believe in in those videos. And a lot of the things that they say have already been disproven. Um, but those videos are really high quality. You'll notice that. And I'm typing in flat earth proofs. And they show you what they want you to see. Flat earth debunked. Okay. This is the kind of stuff you're going to see. Earth from space. <laughs> this is why people are getting detoured away from the flat earth. Because it sounds really stupid. People are looking into it. And um, this is the kind of information. Holy crap, there's one of my videos. Darn that it's so far down. <laughs> oh, man. I wish it would be a little bit higher up. But that's cool. I'm actually seeing that. Not too far down. Um, I don't think anybody scrolls that far. They probably get to this one and go, click. Nope, Earth is round. So uh, um, be careful when you're researching and telling people to research it. Try to find a lot of different things. Send them to... Uh, people that you think need to see the truth that are open to it and upload any of our videos before they get deleted someday. You never know. Um, and you can put them on your channel. Just leave a link in the description. We want truth to be spread. We're not here to make money or get famous. We want God to be famous and get all the glory. And uh, we want truth to spread and we're okay getting called retards every day. So that's what it takes to spread truth. Okay. Um, Thanks very much for watching. Gonna go ahead and end this feed. Love you guys. Hope you're doing good. Take care of yourselves. And be kind to those who don't believe things the way you do. Even if they are very mean to you. Love them. Okay. Thanks for watching. And God bless.